Those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And yeah, nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Second and 12 at the 29-yard line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Go it, go it, go it. Here's Ryan. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I know exactly why he tried to throw the ball to Julio Jones there. He's never considered covered. He's either too fast or too strong. You always try and get it to him. Especially on those deep passes. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They snap it at one. Now Ryan. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And they have possession and they have it at the 38-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They'll run on first down. It's Freeman. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From the 35 on second down, Ryan, he's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. down. Freeman able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons push further out in front to Vecchio to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 0. Now, after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Down, 
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. For midfield now, here's Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Freeman, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13, Ryan. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. 59, Mike, 59. Check, 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 check. I'm coming after you. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Flushed out right, and he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the five-yard Two minutes to play first half. It's.